What's good, folks? How you living? It's your boy, the Mix Monster, DJ Coach K here, and welcome to Ask a Real DJ. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh. Well, before we get started, you already know. Do me a favor, do yourself a favor. Like, love, follow, and subscribe to all my social media pages from Facebook to YouTube at DJ Coach K and the Mix Monster, if you haven't already. And when subscribing to YouTube, be sure to hit that little bell on the side to get reminders of new videos coming out which uh well 99 percent of them will be coming out every wednesday so no every wednesday i will have a video for you and anything else during the weeks well i may throw in an extra one or two here and there and those are just bonuses so enjoy those as well but you know every wednesday you will see a video from yours truly the mix monster dj coach k now Let's talk about the COVID-19 DJ and this whole COVID-19, that little bastard that is still here and what's going on right now because it's crazy. Man, what can I say about this whole pandemic and how we as not only as just human beings, but as DJs had to adjust our lifestyles from being in front of tens to hundreds to thousands of people on any given night, day, whatever to creating the most attractive background settings we can possibly create just to help attract people to watch our live streams. Not just our talents, but attracting people with our backgrounds as well. Oh my goodness, it's crazy. Yeah, the whole thing is crazy on so many levels, especially when your livelihood is stripped, your passion is stripped right from under your, your hands, right from under your feet, right from over your head just stripped stripped faster than a stripper getting butt naked in front of you just stripped you know i had to accept the fact that this whole pandemic thing could be a lot longer than expected so instead of me freaking out i had to see the whole thing from the standpoint of blessings with inside the curse because we're dealing with a curse right now that sucks, but there are blessings in there if you take the time to look, because if I didn't do this, just like Prince said, let's go crazy, oh, I think I would have already went crazy, okay? You as a DJ of all people, you know the rush. When we get that whole point of having that crowd in the palm of our hands, enjoying what we bring to the table, Man, there is no other feeling you can describe to even match it. But you certainly enjoy the whole thing. And when you're in the midst of it, you just do what you do, man. You just enjoy it. And it's crazy because what was a booming industry is now putting yourself in position to reinvent yourself. Because the industry is reinventing itself. Just like every other profession seems like they're reinventing themselves but you know something there are so many great pros along with the cons yeah because you got pros you got cons and here's the deal you have to find out what works for you because if you don't do that you're going to be in trouble a huge key for me has been staying busy just staying busy over time and refusing to allow cabin fever to control me I cannot let it do it. Ah, oh, man. Just like pretty much every other DJ in the world that is doing live streams, I'm doing them as well. Yet, I'm doing other things. And I mean that. Such as, well, Doug, you're watching one right now. My YouTube channel. Hint, hint. Ask a real DJ. I mean, let's be realistic here. I sucked at doing YouTube videos. But I stepped my game up. Hashtag X a real DJ. Also, <laughs> I've enjoyed time in creating new scenery, like I talked about earlier in the backgrounds and all that stuff. You know, such as learning the green screen thing. It's crazy with this whole chroma key and doing all this uh, adjusting to make your your background look so great and all of that. Also, I've got into the game inside of everything. You know, back when I was in my teens up to my mid-30s, I was heavy into the gaming, you know, the whole gaming scene. And then I just fell off and now I'm back into it. And the one thing that shown me is people are really, really into it now 
way more than ever. It's an obsession that has just really stuck out. It just stuck out over the years. And me personally, I shied away from it, but I'm back into it to the point that, shoot, I'm even looking at buying a gaming laptop. Even though I have an Xbox One, I might even buy the, the, the Sony PS4, you know. I might do that or just wait for PS5. Who knows? You know, but here's the beautiful thing when I talk about pros within these cons, when I talk about the blessings within these curses, I'm talking about that factor of me having time to spend with the family. You know, I get to see my son more. I get to see my daughter more. I get to, you know, I speak to my other daughter who's living elsewhere more. You know, I get to do all these things a lot more. Now, I know one thing, crazy as it might sound, I know my wife will love and hate me going back to work when that time happens. Of course, here's the thing. When I go back to work, she'll be able to clean the entire house without me getting it in and away. But she's going to hate the fact that I'll be going on the weekends again. So that's pretty much a 50-50 split. But you get my point. Through all this craziness we're dealing with today, you have to make the most of this mess right now the best way you can do so or like i said you'll go crazy especially mentally djs i'll say it over and over again and i can't stress this reinvent yourself in this pandemic until it is over because when it does end be ready to cash in financially trust me people all over the world are going to want to party Yet until that happens, do your best, man. DJs, DJs, do your best to stay healthy. Do your best to stay mentally fit. Do yourself to stay, stay physically fit. I got to work on that one myself personally, but we ain't going to get into that. Uh, and financially. Financially, right now, oh my goodness, you might. And I mean, you might have to swallow your pride in a lot of ways to do things you're not proud of. You know, but no, you're not alone. No, you're not alone. I'll tell you that right now. I myself had to literally take advantage of the pandemic unemployment assistance that's in place for business owners, independent contractors, entrepreneurs, etc. However you want to call it. And you know what? Here's the deal. I didn't just do it for myself. I did it for my family. I did it for my loved ones. Because as a provider, a roof over our head and mouth being fed is way more important than my pride so yeah wife is doing her thing daughter is doing her thing my son is just happy i'm gonna tell you like this man you think it's bad come spend a little time with my son and watch a kid with special needs that you know you wouldn't even know it because he's so happy he's always smiling you wouldn't even know he has any issues that he has to deal with personally Yet, if this kid is smiling and happy and go lucky during doing this all the time, hey, I have no excuse to, to look down and feel sad. All I got to do is just get up off my butt and do what I got to do to make sure he's taken care of. Okay? By doing my part and whatever I need to do to make sure he's taken care of. All right? Because what we call our son CJ, I call Team CJ because we have so many people that takes care of him. All right. Oh, man, once again, do us a favor. Do yourself a favor. Like, love, and follow, and subscribe to all my social media pages from Facebook to YouTube at DJ Coach K and the Mix Monster if you haven't already. And like I said, when subscribing to YouTube, be sure to hit that little bell on the side to get reminders of our new videos that will be coming out which 99 percent of them will be every wednesday anything else will be a bonus all right it's your boy the mix monster dj coach k saying i'm up i'm out of here wouldn't want to be a salute deuces